Hey guys, this is the new Universal app for strafing, jitter aiming, and more. This work with Steam and EA. When you start the app, you won't be able to move once you do your in-game keybinds. You need to have the movement config running in the background. Press the PlayStation icon. When the app is open, you won't be able to press certain keys unless you click on the switch to unlock the keyboard. You see it's normal now, but once it's off, the movement config is active, and it will be pressing the strafe buttons when you press WASD. You can also set a keybind to toggle it on and off. It's go time! To strafe, you just need to hold down space. You will be spam jumping when doing so. Press the direction keys to move around. I will go over jitter now to reduce your recoil with all guns. Set your jitter keybind. This is the key that has to be held down for it to jitter. I have set it to right mouse button. So now, if jitter is enabled and I hold the right mouse button down, it jitters. There are a few presets to choose from. OmniFlow jitter is usually used with controller input if you're using an emulator like OmniFlow to get aim assist on mouse and keyboard. Or if you're using your controller, this preset works well. You can experiment to see which works for you. However, for best results, it's recommended to use custom jitter. You can adjust the settings for your sensitivity to have minimal shake. You can also set a keybind to toggle jitter on and off. Pull down drags your mouse down so you can reduce some of the X and Y to reduce the shake, but play around and see what works for you. Now let's go over fast loot. Fast loot is just a bind that, if you hold it down, it spams interact to pick up any loot on the ground. You need to set your secondary key bind for interact to you. Now for mantle jump. This is an updated version that is customizable if you find that it's not working. You can look up at a certain angle or look down, then press the key bind. You need P as a secondary jump bind for this to work. For Super Glide, once you have set up your config files, enable Super Glide and set your keybind. Super Glide requires some timing, but because it drops your FPS to 30 for a split second, it makes it a lot easier to get the timing right. It's important that VSync needs to be off for this to work properly. To do a Super Glide, once you hit the peak of your mantle, press the Super Glide key. You can hold the direction you want to go in as well to Super Glide in a direction. Shield Swap can only be set up in game. To set up, Make your game window borderless so that the app can overlay the game. Then press the set position button, and without scrolling, click on the shield core. You will see the X and Y values change. Now, if armor swap is enabled and you've already set your keybind, it will always click on that position that you have set. If close loot box is enabled, it will auto-close the loot box as well. You need the number 9 as a secondary inventory bind. 